Uh, the I've worked with graphite for since uh, August of 1954. So, thank you. <laughs> the graphite is a a structure that is made up of layers, as uh, Julio showed in in this in the talk. Uh, many many layers, and if uh, you work correctly with chemistry and heat, you can rip apart those layers because they're very very strong. Uh, so the first work I did with the graphite crystal and to pull it apart was in perhaps the 1960s when we did some work for the government. And well, this was uh, an opportunity for five people to work together that were friends. And that's very different. Uh, and it was an opportunity to practice technology that I really enjoyed. So I, I really embraced it. And it was nice to have, the other four partners were, were businessmen. So they uh, provided the money in the, in, the, in the shell in which I performed. So. Well, I have two lovely daughters, so, but I needed a co-op with that. You know. Now, I have many inventions, and it's, uh, I think I have over 300 different patents. And uh, I, My favorite element has always been carbon and graphite, so carbon or graphite. The graphene is simply one of the layers of a graphite crystal, so it's... I guess I would say that's my favorite. And to have a, a single layer of a fairly low density material uh, that can conduct heat better than gold and electricity better than gold is amazing. You know, when, uh, and that's what graphene is. It's uh, probably eventually, uh, not just in a, in a bicycle tire like you see behind you, but uh, it's been for many, many years a premier material and it's going to be for many, many more. It, the company that I had started with made uh, arc carbons uh, and those arc carbons were used in the first street lights of, of uh, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, 100 years ago, you know, more than 100 years ago. So carbon and graphite has been interesting and fulfilling a lot of prophecies for many years. It will enable plastics because what it does in small amounts, if you've seen the samples in the hall, it can make a plastic stronger, more flexible, 